Mr. Wright, if you have any more evidence, present it now. And if you try to conceal anything, you will be the one appearing before the Board of Inquiries. What do I do now? I better think this through carefully. I can't afford to make the wrong decision. Should I present that piece of evidence? The one that shows who really killed Prosecutor Marshall? show now. Your Honor, I don't have any evidence I can present at this time. What? You lie. Chief Grant, you, you opened my safe. I know you took what's inside. The conclusive evidence. I don't know what you're talking about. Mr. Wright, why don't you show them? Found it together. Oh, I see. It's because you know the truth, don't you? You know whose fingerprints are on it. That's why you won't present it. What are you talking about, Chief Grant? Can't you figure it out? Take a good look at this picture. See the victim's vest? Notice anything odd about the chest area? Looks like part of it's been cut for some reason. You mean you had this in your safe? What? That means you, the chief of police, have been concealing evidence. This is going to be the biggest scandal in the history of the police department. Impressive. To be honest, I didn't think you had the gall, right -o? Well... I can't just let you pin me up as the murderer. I'll tell you what really happened. What? You mean you admit to it? I was the first person to arrive at the scene of the crime that day. It then occurred to me that I could use the situation to control Lana. So you really were manipulating her. I knew Lana. If I made it look like the s if I made it look like the blame lay with her sister, that when she was the s when she saw the scene, she would always ask for my aid. So you assisted Miss Skye. I told her to arrange all the evidence. I had her plant the knife in the victim's body and moved the body across the room. And I ended up using the evidence to get to Joe to get Joe Dark convicted. When I tamper with the crime scene, I hid two pieces of evidence. This was before Lana arrived at the scene, mind you. The two pieces of evidence. You mean those items in your safe? But why? For insurance, of course. Insurance. My good neighbor, State Farm's not going to be here on this one. <clears throat> I was sure my plan would work, but it's always best to be prepared for the worst. I wasn't about to let anyone blame me for a murder that girl committed. You mean your client? You mean you were calculating that far ahead while forging the evidence? You take me for a fool? I didn't make, I didn't make police chief by dumb luck. See the jar fragment? I hid the most legible part of Emma's name. I didn't expect Lana to go and wipe the blood off all the pieces. But you fabricated all the evidence. What's to say you didn't fabricate the message on this jar too? 
Ho, ho, ho. Some people just don't know when to quit, do they? That's why I kept one more item for insurance. You mean that piece of cloth? Come on, Raito, cough it up already. I know you have it. What are you waiting for, Mr. Wright? So you admit to it then, Chief Grant, that you are hiding the cloth you cut off the victim's chest in your safe. Yes, I admit it. I didn't want to have to do that, being Chief and all, but it's a lot better than being portrayed as a murderer. Well, Mr. Wright, what do you have to say for yourself? Just a moment ago, you said you didn't have the end. You said you didn't have any evidence you could present. Foolish move, Righto. You should have shown it when before it was too late. It's been it's been a long battle, but the moment of truth has finally arrived. As long as I don't mess up here, victory is mine. Your Honor, I do have evidence to present now. All right, then let's see the conclusive evidence. Evidence that shows who actually murdered Prosecutor Marshall. Let me verify this once more. On the day of the crime, you personally cut out this piece of the vest, of the victim's vest. Oh yes, at least you finally brought it out into the open. There's a handprint on this cloth. Your Honor, the prosecution requests that be immediately sent to lab for analysis. This handprint on the leather must have been, been a strong impact for it to be left clearly so. You mean... It could not have been forged. It must be authentic, conclusive evidence. Ho, ho, ho! You're a s so enough as other worthy. What? Think about it. Raito had all this time to present this evidence. He yet was reluctant to do so. Why would he... Why would that be? You mean you already know. You know those fingerprints are on... Those fingerprints are that... That's right. Do you really know? Because every fingerprints must belong to... Must be the real murderer. Whose fingerprints are they? Well, very well, I'll tell you be okay now. Everything's proceeding as predicted. The person whom these fingerprints belong to is... Emma. Emma Sky. What? They're mine? I'm sorry, Emma. But why? Why didn't you tell me? Ho, oh, ho, ho! You... You're really something, Raito. You knew the girl did it all along. And you still tried to pin the murder on me. So, it's true. Tragic, but true. This girl really did shove Prosecutor Marshall to his death. How could you? You monster! Miss Sky, you knew whose fingerprints those were all along, yet you acted like she really didn't? Miss Sky, it's not over yet. What? I said the trial isn't over yet. 
Ha! But I'm afraid it's over, boy. Not only this trial, but your career, too. You purposely concealed this conclusive evidence. That, my friend, is a serious offense. I'm looking forward to pressing charges after the defendant is convicted. I'll have your badge, boy. What's the matter, cat got your tongue? Aren't you going to tell us how it feels? How it feels to be the one who single-handedly turned a poor little girl into a murderer? Before I do that, there's just one thing I have to clear up. Oh? And what's that? You really killed Prosecutor Neil Marshall. What? Chief Grant, are you, are you absolutely right? This piece of cloth proves who the real murderer is. Who killed Neil Marshall, you asked? It was Emma Sky, wasn't it? I'm afraid that's not possible. What? Yo, hold it! <clears throat> Yo, Element, how's it going? Yo! Remix, how's it going? I'm like so locked in. But how you doing, Greg? How's your weekend? Yo, been hearing about the the yoga and the runs. Alive and finally back home. Amen. I'm afraid that's not possible. Hey, the start to start, and you know what they say? You gotta do that whole uh, Seinfeld thing where you just go on a big streak and you don't break that streak. You see, this piece of cloth contains a critical contradiction. What? A contradiction? What is this fool babbling about? I'm talking about a contradiction. One that proves who the real killer is. Mr. Wright, this piece of cloth. What could it possibly contradict? Chief Grant, your tyrannical reign ends here. Behold the piece of evidence that contradicts this cloth. Wait a minute. It was off beforehand. And what exactly is this supposed to be? This is a picture Miss Sky took. Take a good look at it. See where the piece of his vest was cut out? Yes, his shirt is shown underneath. It's hard to make out with all the blood on his vest though. Exactly my point. His chest is soaked with blood. It's only natural. His lungs, no doubt, were punctured. Blood poured out of his mouth. Oh, but that's... But that piece of cloth. Flip it over. Wait. There's no blood on it. Oh! Since Emma Sky's fingerprints are on the cloth, there's no doubt she shoved the prosecutor aside. However, Mr. Marshall was not impaled on the sword at this, at that time. No, this is nonsense. Now then, Police Chief Grant, let me ask you something. You ever dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? 
And also, have you gone to Remix's chat and see him play Destiny 2? I heard it's pretty good there. Prosecutor Marshall was not impaled when he was shoved aside. So wait, you're doing yoga. Like, are you doing like any, like what strict dieting are you doing? Like, are you fasting, Weight Watchers? He most likely hit his head on the ground and was knocked out. If so, then tell me, who could have, who could it have been? Who could have arrived at the sea before Lana Sky picked up the unconscious prosecutor and impaled him on the armor's sword? Arr. Go take this dork. Yes, sir. Then. To make it look like Emma was responsible for the prosecutor's death? Say... Person pr proceeded to write her name on the jar with the victim's blood. A jar that they then broke on purpose to leave behind a clue and make Lana believe her sister did it. Remember what you admitted only moments ago? That you personally cut out this bloodless piece of the victim's vest? Ironic, isn't it? Through the very act of creating insurance, you proved that you were the actual murderer. It's finally all over. <laughs> oh, that was close, right? So you almost had me. Wait, what? Sorry, but you'll have to do better than that. I refute your allegations. What do you mean, refute his allegations? You see, that piece of cloth is illegal evidence. Order, order. What nonsense is this? Illegal evidence cannot be used it to convict a suspect. Remember, Undy? Earlier, old right here concealed that piece of cloth. So then, what's your excuse, Raito? Have you some conclusive evidence? You... don't you? Your Honor? I don't have any evidence I can present at this point in time. The key term, at this point in time. Well, that's true. The defense did refuse to present... evidence. At that moment, that piece of evidence that piece of cloth ceased to be legal evidence. But that's not fair! Ho 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 ho! Did you actually think you could best me in court? It looks like the last laugh's on you, son. I'm afraid Mr. Grant's claim is legally correct. Well, Mr. Edgeworth, true. Legal evidence cannot be used to convict a person. Assuming, of course, that the evidence is indeed illegal, hmm? Well, Mr. Wright? It seems at last, the time for me to reveal my plan has finally arrived. Mr. Wright, do you admit to it? That you purposely and illegally concealed this piece of evidence? I did not. I admit it. I refused to present it at one point. Aha! So the evidence is illegal. Objection! No, it isn't, Mr. Grant. Huh? It's not that I didn't present the evidence then. 
It was, I couldn't. What do you mean you couldn't? There are certain procedures involved when presenting evidence. No, Wendy, don't listen to his lies. He's nothing but a coward. I can't believe him. There's only one issue left to be resolved in this trial. Is evidence legal or not? Very well, let's settle this once and for all. Earlier, you refused to present the evidence. Can you prove your conduct was not in violation of the law? If so, how then? Um, evidence law? Here's my proof, Your Honor. Evidence law. What's this? I've done my homework too, Chief. Indeed, Emma Sky's fingerprints were on this piece of cloth. However, at that point in time, this was merely a piece of cloth. Nothing more. What? You see, it's written right here in the book. The second rule of evidence. Rule number one, no evidence shall be shown without approval of the police department. I found this piece of evidence myself inside of your safe. It goes without saying I did not have approval from the police department. Rule number two, unregistered evidence presented must be relevant to the case on trial. And here's the crux of the matter. You see, at the time it was impossible for me to prove the relevance between the club and the SL9 incident. What? What kind of nonsense is this? You want relevancy? Just look. Just take one look at this picture and... Sorry, but can you recall when was that picture presented? That was shown only a few moments ago. No! He's right. At the beginning of today's trial, that piece of clock was still meaningless. The person who gave it value as evidence was you, Damien Graham. You yourself confess to a certain truth. Let me verify this once more. On the day of the crime, you personally cut out this piece of the victim's vest. Oh yes. No! It was then that you approved this cloth as conclusive evidence. Yes, you, the chief of police, personally approved of this cloth. The only person who could have cut this from the victim's vest was the one who stood before Prosecutor Marshall in his final moments. In other words, the real murderer. And there's only one person who that could be. It's obviously Captain Deadpool 8001. Damn, son, where'd you read? Hit him with the trailer. Captain Deadpool, welcome aboard, my good sir. How was your stream? How was Fortnite? And thank you for bringing your community over here. I hope you had a great stream. You had this game too. Nice. You know, I'm trying to play through the trilogy. How'd you like the first game? About nine box streamer, comedian, good connoisseur, and purveyor of cheese. I hope you had a good time. I won't lie, this show gives me a great time to give me a nice little drink break. Mm. 
No, I know it is. The only part that I'm going to have to change, though, about that trailer is I'm going to have to switch in and out the music because apparently Drake Bell still holds rights somehow. Damien Grant. The killer was you. No. No. Hmm. So are you just waiting on like the viewer piece or the follower piece? They're uh, Deadpool. Cause dude, it's always tough. No matter what. Dude, you played Dink and Romp of three. I still need to beat that. Both. I knew I should have gotten rid of him. That good for nothing scum. Two years he's been snooping around in the department trying to get something on me. Crimes are being committed every day, yet he insists on hounding me. Yo, Firewall, I'm doing good. How are you doing? Well, your crime wasn't exactly pretty. He wanted to reinvestigate the case. He recruited Angel Star, then convinced Bruce Goodman. Detective Goodman? Yeah, that's right. If evidence is transferred, I'll lose my only chance to find out the truth. Please, you've got to help me. Goodman turned him down, as he ought to. Still, Jack Marshall didn't know when to quit. He stole Goodman's ID and tried to take the evidence. Yo, do what you gotta do, Deadpool. Goodman came to me that day. He wanted to file a lost item report. I went to him to the evidence room. You, how's it going? And all of a sudden, he decided to speak out. Yeah, sure. Wh what are you talking about, Goodman? Can you please reopen the investigation, Chief? We can't transfer the evidence out. There's too many questions left unanswered. He opened his evidence locker. And as he was taking the evidence out, he said, It's not too late. I'm going to hand this over to Marshall. Well, to be honest, I was a bit taken aback by his word. How's that look? Oh, it does make the letters more distinctive. It does make it more distinctive. I had a bad feeling when he came to see me, but I never thought he'd bring up SL9. That's when I saw it. That accursed knife. can just pull it out. Doing so would only lead to more blood, making it impossible to hide your crime. Even so, the blood was just pouring out. I didn't know who might stumble in, so I hurried to wipe it up. I was, I was worrying so much about the floor, I didn't realize my fatal mistake. The bloody handprint. 
on Detective Gumshoe's locker. No, that is true. I used to be known as the crime computer. But everyone has to start somewhere, I guess. I was too nervous. I had no business doing any of it. Then you put the body in my car? I'm sorry, I couldn't think of any other way to move the body. I broke your trunk, but what's the big deal? You make a lot more than us detectives ever will. Ugh. Leaving the prosecutor's car aside, how? How could you get Miss Sky involved in all of this? Well, she had as much to lose as I did if the truth came out. So you took the evidence from Detective Goodman's locker. I felt bad for having to do it. I also didn't have the time to pick and choose what to take. So, you left the jar fragments and the glove. Yeah. It looks like I was better off being an investigator of crimes than a committer. They all did their best to get a get in the get in my way. I've got to hand it to them. They do their jobs well, much to my dismay. Fake evidence doesn't hold up very well upon close examination. You must have known that. Tell me, Worthy, why do you stand in court? Me? You despise criminals. I can feel it. You and me, we're the same. One day, you'll under... you'll... you'll understand. Oh, believe me, you will. You're just one man. You'll see what it really takes to bring down bring them down once you try to go it alone well looks like it's time to say goodbye oh undy whoa, whoa what looks like we'll have to cancel that lunch date sorry old friend I'm sorry to Damien Grant. I knew you as you used to be long ago. You were once a fine investigator, an example to others on the force. I'm sorry to learn that you are no longer that person. Those days are gone now, Wendy. Thanks for all the memories, though. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Now you have Raito here. And Worthy. With these two around, you can't go wrong. In fact, I can hear them already. The malicious music around. There are two things I want you to understand. Yes, first, your sister never hurt anyone. Second, Damien Grant betrayed you from the beginning. You see, Miss Sky, you no longer have any reason to keep silent. You're right. When this trial is over, I'll tell everything. All I've done these past two years, from the time I had Grant help me forge evidence up until today. So, it seems all the questions raised in this trivia in this trial have been answered. I'm sorry, Miss Sky. I couldn't get you out of trouble. My... What high standards you have for a rookie? I can see why Mia thought so highly of you. Who knows, a few years from now, you just might make it to the top. I owe you my thanks, Mr. Wright. Miss Sky? And you too, Mr. Edgeworth. 
you suffered every bit as much as I have over these past few days. Believe me, I know how much of an ordeal it's been for you. <laughs> it was nothing. Liar. I was worried the pressure might break you. And yet, you rose above it all and guided Mr. Wright to victory. You did well, Mr. Edgeworth. Stop it. I only did my job. In light of this case, it seems a good self-examining is in order for us all. Miss Sky, Your Honor, you are an innocent Amur. However, although the chief blackmailed you, the facts... The fact is you still acted in it as his accomplice. A trial will be scheduled for these crimes at a later date. Yes. I understand, Your Honor. Is there something amusing about all this? Why are you smiling? It's been a long time, Your Honor. A long time since I felt three of these heavy chains. Well, this trial has gone on far too long already. Regarding the charges of murder, this court finds the defendant, Miss Lana Sky, not guilty. <laughs> As all, this court is adjourned. <laughs>